All right, today we're gonna go over a psychology case. One of the rare cases that you get in your training career. I mean, we get them, but it, not often. This is like a wild dingo. <laughs> this is like training a dog who's not domesticated at all. So there's a lot of psychology and a lot of fine nuances that you really have to know to work with this kind of dog. So if you're an owner or a trainer, most people who try to work with this or own this go about this completely the wrong way. They're trying to do things treat-wise or friendly-wise to the dog, giving them things, but this dog won't take things. So this has to be a pressure game. So I have a prong on it. I'm gonna try to go in there right now. Usually when I go in to reach for the dog, it goes to the back of the kennel and spins around and won't let me touch it. And this is not an abuse case. This has nothing to do with any of that. This is a puppy. This is genetics. This is breed. This is the way it is. <laughs> and a lot of these breeds are like this. So this is a serious challenge to a lot of trainers, especially the owners. So that's why this dog is here. You let that dog loose for a second, it's out. It's gone. It's going to run away, take off. You're never catching it. And it's going to be in another state in a half hour. So I'm going to try. I'm going to see what we get. I'm going to open up, but generally she'll flee to the back and just spin there and i got to grab her out of the crate. We'll, we'll see. You try to pet, always goes down to the floor. It's completely antisocial. This is much better for <laughs> considering the way it's been. Like right here, usually it'll spin and try to get crazy going away from you. So this is actually pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna put a leash on. So when you're, you're trying to work with this kind of dog, they pull off, they go all over the place, they don't want to be close to the body. Every time I go near, we start walking, the dog will separate. It's here. So see, separation always. Keeping a distance, a safe distance, because a dog does not like to be close to anybody. Or the body, they get very uncomfortable and they want to flee. So the game to this, breaking the whole psychology and eventually getting this dog over, having people touch it where she wants to be touched coming to you <laughs> obeying and wanting to be in human contact is to get through the psychology the mental so here what you're going to do is and we'll see if i give her a treat because in the past while we've been doing this she will not take treats at all come here see so every time around circle circles like a wild horse yeah there you try to treat completely won't this hot dog that i have on my hand won't take it try to give it back up back up go away from the body see here and every time we'll come towards now only because i've been doing a little pressure with it lately but here every time circling and staying away try to give the treat hot dog won't take it yawning stress so right now when you start seeing the yawning licking lips you know the dog's going into pressure but with this kind of dog you're going to have to go through pressure there is no way with this type of dog to do things the supposedly the kind way and trying to give treats for this, it's not gonna happen, right? So this has to be completely a pressure game to get through that mental. So what we do here is I'm gonna put her on a wall so that the dog cannot get away from me. They're gonna be stuck in here and have to learn that being near the body, one, it's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to them being close to me. Number two, once I come off the wall and they start to separate, there's going to be a little bit of uncomfortableness from the collar for leaving the body. 
but I'm not going to jerk it into her. I don't want conflict with this dog of thinking I'm the one who's creating this. So when the dog goes off and there's a little pressure, they come back in. So they're learning that actually the human's the good. Staying close to the body brings the positive. Coming away from the body gives the negative. So I'm countering the brain and I'm redoing her psyche of how she views life right now. So I'm going to rearrange that for her and make things, oh, look, see on the body, good. When you're close to people, good. When you go away from people, ah, there's a negative, but not harsh. You, you cannot do that either or you'll spook the dog badly and you'll start getting a lot of erratic behaviors. And I'll spook her worse now and I have to fix something even deeper that I caused by trying to do this too physically. So this is actually better being this close than normal, but I worked on this this morning already. There, so here I'm going to start walking. Are we separating always? So going away from me. Right. So here, teaching to be in that close spot. Getting comfortable to walk right next to me with very little space between this, the fencing, her and myself. Caught in the middle. So we keep doing this. We have to create a pattern, a rhythm for the brain to get comfortable of being in that little spot next to me. This is huge for this dog. So now when I come off here, a little bit, I turn, but I don't jerk the dog. So I just go away and the prong just makes a little touch. See, so I have to close this gap more. And just to show you, if I try to treat them still, so ahead, I just turn, it's better. Good, so they hold that spot right there, no pressure, all by itself. This morning, that was not happening, fleeing away, taking off, could not be in that tight spot next to me. But at least here, she's not trying to flee anymore. If I move, the dog will start to follow now. A little prong pressure. I stop, dog stops. If I try to give a treat, right, you see the backing up. All right, spits the food out. Okay, spits it out again. So soon, once I get through this with pressure, eventually the dog will take treats when it becomes comfortable and it's not skittish because it's still trying to figure this game out and get comfortable with being close. It's going to lay down. It's good. So they're not panicking anymore. So I'm going to close this gap in a little more off the fence. Good. 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 So see the touch, see the jump, the flick. So here, if I ever try to touch down to the ground, always, always very fearful of human touch and contact. So once I make all of this good staying near me, and right now I'm not going to start pressing the touching too much because I don't want the dog to get uncomfortable if I'm trying to force myself on it right now, I'm trying to break this process. So right now I just need my body and my presence to be what cause stops actually any conflict. Like there, perfect. See the step back? because I can't take the pressure just in case I touch her. Perfect. Good. No leash pressure all by herself. I move. Now the dog's good. Perfect. So this was coming from the fence game of learning how to stay too far. I want closer. So I start closing the gap a little bit. And every time she opens up, So I'm trying to let the dog figure out the good is being near me like that. It's perfect closeness. 
then of course the details of healing I'll fix. But right now, I just want the dog to get comfortable being with me. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. So I want focus. No leash pressure. I move, dog does it by itself. Good. Good. I move over, no leash pressure. Dog's focused, staying with the body, knowing how to avoid. Good. And we're a good space. I'd like it a little closer, but that's part for this dog. Usually all the way out there, over there, like a bucking bronco, wild horse trying to get under control. There, a little bit too much. I need to get the brain back in. Perfect, there, good. Here, good. Good, good. Perfect. Good. Good. Channeling the brain. Not a bad distance now. Keep that focus, keep that pressure. And here I'll try again just to show. Hot dog. Even on the ground, we'll ignore it, won't take it, because you cannot, with these kind of dogs, ever play that treat game. Maybe years down the road, you'll start getting a breakthrough, but you're not helping the dog get over emotional problems and the psychological issues through food like that. You're not going to do it. Good. Now I'm going to try again to touch. See already, she knows it's coming. The moment. So here, I'm gonna brace. All right, and you see slower there though, less hitting the ground and if I do this for a few days she'll stop standing and be comfortable but pressure is what gets these dogs through these things not reward it's against instinct animal instinct that things are going to happen through clicker reward not 99% never going to happen and it's a perfect example or else I would do food the whole way but that will not help the dog get over anxious problems and this here being that close to me just relaxing in the lay is something that this dog has never done. You, you go to pet her, boom, she'll take off like a wild horse and then you can't catch her. <laughs> My whole staff has to go chase her. We got to corner her in corners. <laughs> Here I'm going to handle the dog, not let it lay down, get comfortable with the touching, handling instead of dropping into fear, panic, submission state, and get used to the touch is good, it's okay, it's normal, not going to get hurt. Okay. And in here I start working on also the other way, coming to. See, if I do this, little leash pressure pulls in, good. And here, as soon as I start to go towards, we get the backing up if I keep going. Too much pressure on the brain, defensive pressure, and the dog scatters. 
So I have to teach the dog to cut that off and come in and releasing the pressure will bring the brain forward and stop going away from me in the body. So here I pull back, I hold, good, and then there, don't let the brain out, all right? And now it's okay. So here, if I release the pressure a little bit, now she's not going back anymore and letting me pat her. But generally, whoa, all the way back. So through the pressure, you hold the brain. What's the good? Going away from me creates pressure. Coming to me brings the good. And that's how you get a dog like this out of these problems. Good job. All right.